Hi YouTube fans, um, I am making a video tonight on the repair of a 2005 Ford Escape Hybrid. Um, common symptoms with this and the reason why it led me to this repair was that a, this vehicle I had tried to diagnose it um, with various repair places including Ford Motor Company. Uh, well the Ford dealership, not Motor Company itself. Um, I tried different forums on YouTube and other places, but I uh, couldn't find anything. My car symptoms were that it was, it would start to smoke, a blue smoke at around 4,000 RPM. Um, the engine would tend to rev up a little bit, and when it did, it blew blue smoke. Well, upon further investigating and looking at other forums, I'd I come to the conclusion that the PCV valve was not allowing the crankcase to breathe. So I went in, took the front intake off of it, and come to find out that it was the PCV valve. Um, a $10 part, but lots of hours to take apart. Um, wasn't easy, but I did get it. Sorry, I'm not good at this video. It's my first video on YouTube, but I'll show you the part. Um, like hopefully, it'll make it easier for someone else that decides to do this repair. If they ever have, have any issues where you have a misfire on cylinder two, um, and if you notice the plugs oil, oily, or cylinder two or three, and also if it at 4000 rpm when the engine revs up it blows blue smoke out the back it's more than likely going to be the pcv valve on this car um of course this is the pcv valve i'll show you i'm getting in front of the car so you all can see um this is the pcv valve and if you notice i'm going to shake it there's no sound at all it's completely shut it's like a it's like a $12 part, but the labor on it at Ford or any other dealer is seven hours. They call for seven hours, and some of the labor costs associated with this, some dealerships charge up to $100 an hour. A $12 part at like seven hours is a lot of money. But you can fix this if you buy a Haynes manual. You can get them at your local AutoZone or any hardware, I mean, hard auto parts store. Um, this is what the engine looks like whenever it's tore down. Kind of give you a bird's eye view. It's not the greatest picture. I'm going to turn turn the camera down so you can see it. And if you notice the new PCB valve, which is right here. You can see it underneath there. And that one does click. Um, it wasn't the easiest job on the planet. I would recommend this for the amateur um, if you're a professional in the shop, um, it was a pretty hard diagnosis for me. Um, it's just a lot of things. Obviously this isn't, it was my daily driver, but I had bought another hybrid. I bought it at a Copart auction and put back together. So I'm driving that currently, but this one kind of is kind of the one that picked my brain the most. And, uh, this particular car here. I found a good solution to it. Um, I got the PCV valve. Of course, the new one's white. It's not purple like this one is. Um, I know another easy fix. The the tube that and and this tube actually collapsed. It was the the infamous tube that you have to buy from Ford for like thirty some odd dollars. Well, I've got a quick fix for this as well. Um, I went to AutoZone and I found this particular hose. The number was A71685. That was a Daco. It's a small little hose, and it looks just like our little guy here. So as you can see, this is the new hose, the A71685. And then the other one here. Now all you have to do is just trim it down a little bit. Um, once you trim it down, you should be able to get this to fit. It's going to go into the vehicle, and then you'll be able to finally get the crankcase to breathe, and it won't blow smoke out the back. 
and it also won't misfire and foul the plug on two and three. Um, found out in the plenum that the least path of resistance is on cylinder two. Um, show you right where it all kind of lines up. I'm going to look down here. And if you see the plenum, this is the back side of the intake plenum. And if you notice this piece right here, this is where it hooks up to the tube on the PCB valve. But where the direct air flows in, it flows directly into cylinder two. That cylinder two misfire is where everything kind of started for me. I couldn't figure it out. I thought it was an intake leak here, but it was not. It was actually oil coming in from inside of the EGR pipe and inside of the throttle body. So it took the path of least resistance, which was cylinder two. Um, of course, it's the back side of the plenum. And then flipping it over, this is the front side of the plenum. So this is what you would see on the in engine side. But two is, the, two is the direct line coming from here. Because this was clogged, it wasn't equalizing pressure on the top side of this. So all of that oil from the on the up on the where the valve cover is it was blowing right into it into the engine causing it to basically misfire in cylinder two and three so hope this helps somebody um, took some diagnosing on my part sorry for the bad video <laughs> but uh, hopefully um, this might help somebody else out who has a, an escape hybrid this is for the 2005 to 2007, um, possibly on the 8 because the 8 had the same motor, had that 2.3. But um, I know there was no videos on YouTube at, at all about this diagnosis. It was pretty difficult. Um, took me a little while, but uh, this definitely should uh, cure the problem. Um, Hope this helps somebody. I know there's a video out there. It's a 30-minute video on how to take the intake off. Uh, it was not an easy job reminding you again. It was a pretty big bear. But now that I got it off, um, I'm going to put it back on and everything should be fine. All right. Good luck.